Hey guys, welcome to Guitar Shop TV. We are super excited today to be here with Caroline Jones, singer-songwriter. Caroline, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Well, Caroline, it's been an exciting year for you. Uh, you've been doing a number of tours around the East Coast, colleges, boarding schools. Tell us a little bit about what's uh, what's been happening. Well, I've been touring boarding schools, high schools, and colleges, uh, mostly in the Northeast, schools like Hotchkiss, Andover, Exeter, Taft, Suffield, Deerfield, mm -hmm. and uh, I've been having a wonderful time. It's a really great demographic to play to because, uh, well, first of all, this, the students are, you know, just a few years younger than me, mm -hmm. and they really have that hunger for inspiration, and, you know, they're at the point in their life when, when they're finding their passion, mm -hmm. and so my hope and my intention is to really connect with them on a visceral, emotional, intellectual, and even spiritual level and just share my music with them and inspire them, especially at these boarding schools. They don't always have, you know, a lot going on on the weekends. Mm -hmm. School is kind of their life, and it's, it's a very insulated environment. And so it's a treat for me to be able to go to these beautiful campuses, and hopefully it's a treat for them. How did you get started? What inspired you? Who were you listening to growing up? I started singing when I was nine. I was trained classically in opera and, and jazz. And I have been writing ever since I learned how to write. And when I was, you know, I grew up listening to a lot of R&B and soul because that's what my dad primarily like loves. A, like Aretha and the Four Tops and uh, Temptations? Yeah, Earth, Wind & Fire, yeah. yeah, Temptations, all those kind of 70s soul bands, 60s and 70s soul. And uh, when I was 16, I went to Nashville for the first time. And I never really listened to country music. And I just fell in love with country music. And this is the classic country. Yes. Like Hank Williams kind of stuff. Hank Williams, Eddie Arnold, uh, those are, you know, Johnny some of Cash, my favorites. Oh, Jim, yeah. Jim Willie Carter. Nelson, Chris Christopherson, all my favorites. And Waylon. Patsy Cline, Waylon, we were talking about. And uh, that's the music that I really love to listen to now. Those are my main influences now. But I also still love uh, the music that I was trained in, which is kind of. 40s cabaret. I really love Big Band. I love Tommy Dorsey and Gene Krupa and wow. Ella Fitzgerald. And I also love blues. I, I lo but I love really old blues. I love Mississippi John Hurt and Sun House. Sun and, House? Yeah, and Blind Lemon Jefferson. Those are, because to me, those are the, that's the origins of singer-songwriters. Uh, tell us about your, what you're working on now. You've been in the studio the last couple of years, I know in New York and Nashville, and you have a new album coming out later this year? Yes, my next album is going to be called Clean Dirt, mm -hmm. and I actually recorded it in 2010. And I recorded it at the same time that I recorded Fallen Flower and Nice to Know You. Mm -hmm. It's actually kind of a trilogy of albums. I recorded a bunch in 2010. And I'm really excited about Clean Dirt because it's the most fun, playful, kind of sexy album that I've had yet. Mm -hmm. So there's probably a lot more of that blues influence on it. and. Uh, that was the album that Brent Mason played on. The album was recorded uh, in New York as well as in Nashville. We mm -hmm. did a couple sessions in each, and we had wonderful musicians in, in both locations. I'm so blessed, mm -hmm. and I love, it's wonderful to really produce your own music when, because as a writer, uh, to see it come to fruition that way with all the colors of a band is, is so rewarding.